nitong Webes, dumating na sa bansa si Sushmita para maging kurado rin sa 65th Miss Universe. At itong Biernes, nakapanayam ko siya. Sushmita, thank you very much for this interview. Thank you so much for having me. It's been 23 years and you're back. <laughs> what does it feel like? In the past 23 years, it's not been a country, Philippines, where I won Miss Universe and then we forgot about each other. It's been a journey where I don't think too many Miss Universe winners have a journey like mine, where press from the Philippines has come back to India come to my sets when I've been filming to interview and see where is Asushmita now, what is she doing? <laughs> and come back to telecast it here. You were 18 yes. and you came up with a very profound answer to that question, what is the essence of oh. being a woman? I've always been a very deep person. And you know, it's one thing to know things on the surface. I always love to analyze things deeper. I also pinch myself. Uh, I don't know how that answer just came out. It was not rehearsed, it was not a question, it was not asking about what it is to be a woman. What are the great qualities of a woman? Mm -hmm. It asked the essence of a woman, which goes far deeper than having a great career or doing anything. It's, it's less about what a woman can do, it's more about what a woman is. It's a lovely question you asked me, Jessica, because I think I was knowledgeable at 18. But it's taken me 23 years to really understand that answer. At which point did you tell yourself you just might be it? Our telecast time was we had to be up at 2 a.m., wow. be downstairs uh, for hair and makeup by 3 a.m., and be ready by 5 a.m. Uh, because it had to be prime time New York telecast. Yes. Miss Guam, my roommate, is sleeping beauty sleep okay so from 12 to 2 that's all the time we got in the night to sleep and she's sleeping and I can't sleep because I am like so you know excited for some reason I can't sleep and so I go open the window and it was a very cloudy night and I looked at the window I stood at the window and I said so God okay I know India has never won Miss Universe before I know this but if you will just let me go back home respectfully if I can just give the best version of myself today, that's all I want. And I got my eyes closed and suddenly it get, gets really bright. So I open my eyes to see what happened and the clouds have moved and there is a big moon outside my window with a spot on my face. I have bolted from the window straight to Miss Guam. Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> you have to see this! Wake up! So he's going, Sushmita, let me sleep, please. It's, it's, we have very little time, please. I said, no, you have to see this. I think I just got a sign. I'm going to win tonight. And she was just like, what? Go back to sleep now. I said, no, no, no. She didn't see it. But that is the first time I knew something was going to happen. I didn't know what, but something. And when at the stage they said, top 10 finalists we begin with Miss India. That's when I knew, full stop, tonight's the night. And you also almost backed out when you found out that um, Aishwarya, Aishwarya was Rai competing. Was competing. Yeah. Have you seen Aishwarya? She's yes. beautiful. I mean, <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. Uh -huh. She's not a conventional Indian gorgeous. She's an international gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So you know, you're looking at her at 17 and a half and you're saying, she's entering the pageant. <laughs> Okay, next year, bye-bye, <laughs> I'm not participating. Oh my God, what a shouting I got from my mother that day. Came back home to, you are not my daughter. I cannot believe that you are that afraid to try. And you want someone who's not a competition to be there to compete with you. Uh, shame on you, don't talk to me. She was very mad at me. If you don't try, you will never know. And I was standing like this at the airport when I won and I came back. And my mother standing like that at the <laughs> airport, like I told you so. <laughs> well, this is an important lesson. You have to give life a shot. I'm living proof of that. Heto pang nakakatuwang kwento. May maganda silang pinagsamahan ng kandidata noon ng Pilipinas na si Charlene Gonzalez. Is it true that you borrowed earrings from Charlene Gonzalez? Yeah, you know I lost my earrings 
and, and that whole outfit had this beautiful setup of jewelry and I was literally crying at the dinner when Charlene comes up and says hello Miss India I'm Miss Philippi it's like I don't know of course I knew who Charlene was but she introduces you know you're in my country and anything you need how can I help you Oh my God, I, I could picture on that, at that moment, her with wings. She opened up her room and all her earrings to me and said, whichever one. I said, but tell me which one are you wearing for the finale? I'll not take that, I'll take something else. She said, it doesn't matter, it's my country, I'll get another one. You choose whatever you like. And I chose those ones and she gave them to me. And after I won, I took them off to give it back to Charlene. Uh, thank you so much. Are you crazy? Yeah, you're winning earrings. You're wanting them. <laughs> you can't give those back. Take it as a gift from Philippines to you. And That's of course, you still have them, huh? Of course, I do. <laughs> much oh, of, much of your something time. else that yeah, I have. Something that I have not worn in the last 23 years. Can I show you? Yeah, please. I intend to wear this for my official visit this time, the entire time. This is a brooch. It's the globe. Uh huh. It's a sash that says Miss Universe 94, and it's the crown of Miss wow. Universe. All in diamonds for an 18-year-old. That was some brooch to wear. Matapos tanghaling Miss Universe sa India si Sushmita instant celebrity. And what was your reign like? Because you know, to some people, Miss Universe, the title yes. sounds uh, very vague for those people who don't understand the universe. To be a uh, Miss World, for example, it's the world, it's the countries, you know. Uh -huh. You have to be out of this world to be a Miss Universe. I traveled and met with the young people of every country enough to understand their culture, uh, their problems and their uh, in inspirations in the world mm -hmm. and their aspirations in the world. But I think as a Miss Universe, one of the greatest things you learn is how to embrace all of it. In India, you're an actress and a mother of yeah. two. Yes. What is life like for you? Magical, tough, <laughs> complicated, very human. It's uh -huh. like everyone else. Being a single mother is not easy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very romantic, but it's not easy. You yeah. actually went to court for your first daughter. Yes, that's true. Um, I was 24 years old, and I had been trying since I was 22 to become a mom uh, by the process of adoption and they didn't allow it. It took us a while uh, and we got the custody for my first baby. But the second child was actually a bigger court fight than the first one. Mm -hmm. Because in India, the rule said you could not adopt a daughter after a daughter. You had to adopt a son. And I wanted to adopt a daughter. So 10 years we fought, then my Alisa came. That must have been tough for you, huh? Yeah, it was a long wait. Forgive me for asking and for prying, Sushmita, but I'm shy on it. I'm waiting for this question. <laughs> How have you managed to say to stay unattached all these years? Oh, I will correct that question. <laughs> I have been very attached. <laughs> <laughs> Just not okay. married. Uh -huh. I don't know. I think, you know, we're all unique. And we are somehow always told by everyone else, this is the right age to get married. This is the right age to have children. Mm -hmm. This is the right age to retire. I just wanted to take life at my own clock because I believe everybody's unique. Mm -hmm. um, I came close to marriage twice, mm -hmm. but better sense prevailed, <laughs> I think. <laughs> no, I, I will get married. And I think uh, in due course of time, that too will happen. Sa sobrang kasikatan noon ni Sushmita, aba, marami palang mga bata na ipinanganak nung dekada 90 na sa kanya ipinangalan. May we now present to you, the Pinay Sushmita. Sushmita San Morada, 22, Batangas. Bilang kapangalan ng isang Miss Universe, sobrang nakapressure ako kasi sobrang taas na expectation ng marami. But I believe whatever life brings you, you always have to be positive and you always have to look at the brighter side. Dahil sa unique na pangalan ko, tumatataka ko sa mga clients ko bilang isang real estate broker. For me, the essence of being a woman is having courage to face life as a mother. Shmita Garcelles, 22 Hagonay, Bulacan. No friends, call me Mita. So, nang tingin, akala mo tahimik ako at mahihain. Pero pagtatanong mo yung mga kaibigan ko, sasabihin nilang masiyain at mahilin ako magkwento. For me, the real essence of being a woman is 
to love and to be loved. Sushmita Doi, 22 Tarlac. My family calls me sushi, but not the Japanese food, but the beauty king from India. Nung araw po na nanalo si Sushmita Sen ay ang araw po ng aking birthday, kaya yun po ang pinangalan sa akin ng aking mama. Naniniwala po ako na hindi kailangan ng sobrang ganda, puso lang, sapat na. For me, the essence of being a woman is being true to herself. At sa araw na ito, ang ating mga Pinay Sushmita, ipapakilala natin. We would like to introduce to you the girls who were born in 1994, the year you won, and they were all named after you. What? You want Sushmita? <laughs> See, okay, I have, to, okay, before we move on, I have to say something. Do you know what Sushmita means? What does it mean? A beautiful smile. Wow. And guess what? They all have it. <laughs> and what is your name? I'm Sushmita Garcelles. Oh, Sushmita Garcelles. Nice to meet you and... And Sushmita Oh, you got both the names. Sushmita Dana. Yes. You're nice to meet you and... Sushmita Doi. Doi Sushmita. Oh my god. Okay, guys, I am Sushmita Sen from Manila, Philippines. Oh my god. Your parents, my love and regards to both of them. Oh, I have a better one. One, two, and. 